Hey guys, Pastor Jonathan here. We are uh, continuing our, our nine week study on a transformed life series that uh, we've been walking through and uh, we're here on week seven. It's transformed suffering. So how can we, uh, as believers in Christ, walk and endure, uh, walk through and endure suffering in our lives? And so we're still hanging out in verse 12 of Romans chapter 12, where we were at last week. Um, but where it says specifically that we are to be patient in tribulation. Uh, so we're kind of hanging out there. And um, as you'll see in service today, we do have a guest speaker. Uh, Murray Tillis is here. And uh, he's walking us through Isaiah 53 and highlighting how Jesus is the suffering servant. And so we kind of wanted to um, meld those together and have him speak and, and tie that into how uh, we as believers in Christ can be patient in tribulation. Uh, or another way, way to put it would be patient through suffering. And so um, one verse I would like to read to you uh, and that I'll have you guys kind of look at in your group time as well is in Colossians 1 uh, verse 24. It says, Now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of His body. That is the church. And so when Paul here says that he's filling up what's lacking in Christ's afflictions, he doesn't mean that uh, Jesus and His sufferings on the cross or His work um, and enduring all the suffering He did on earth, that it lacked something. But what it means is that we, the church, we have um, a specific amount of suffering to endure on this earth and that Paul is doing his part. He's dropping little bits of suffering into this jar that's filling up um, over time throughout the, uh, the church history. And uh, according to God's sovereign providence, we as a church are going to endure suffering. And he was filling his part. So the, the, the lack was on Paul's part, not on Jesus' part. And so we as the church will have to endure sufferings. And you know, this isn't sub really surprising to us. I think we know just from human experience that life is tough. You know, we're gonna endure things, uh, but specifically as believers in Christ, uh, we're gonna have to endure other things as well that the church um, has to go through, that the world you know, doesn't necessarily have to endure. And so in your group time today, we're going to look at some, some verses um, that can maybe help us understand why. You know, why are we in, enduring certain trials or sufferings in our life? And, and maybe that can help encourage us to, to know how to endure um, through difficult times and be patient in tribulation. And so we're going to look at some, uh, a few areas as to why we could be going through certain things. Uh, what could be God's purpose in, in allowing things to come into our life, um, to challenge us, to grow us, that sort of thing. And so um, I hope you guys enjoy uh, your time today as, as you read through the questions as a group. And um, I hope that it will encourage you, especially and most importantly, if you are going through a trial um, or even if you just put it in your back pocket, because one day uh, we all are going to face something one time or another. Um, it's, as Paul said, something that's lacking that we're filling up. This is um, what we're kind of called to. We're called to uh, suffering. Jesus promised that, and so we should not be surprised by it. And I got some great verses for you guys to look through um, in the scripture today. So hope you guys enjoy and are blessed by the message today.